Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. Last time I did a video about 10 things I wish I would have known before becoming a creator. Things I would have known about myself. This video today is going to be a little bit different. It's 10 things I wish I would have known before starting a creative journey. It sounds very similar but you'll see that the points are completely different and if you haven't watched that video i encourage you to watch that after this it doesn't matter in which order you see it but the first video which was about myself i felt like there were things that i didn't learn about myself and that i wish i would have known about myself 10 years ago when i started or 15 years ago whenever i did start i don't even remember when i started this but this is kind of like an advice giving thing where I wish I would have known these things in advance so that way I would have not made so many mistakes or not gone and gone in like a zigzag but we know life is a zigzag and you never know where you're going to end up I didn't even know I was going to end up here because I ended up studying something completely different nothing creative so I don't have technically professional training but with so many years doing this I feel like if I would have known some of these things, if somebody would have done a video like this and helped me, I would have maybe not made so many mistakes. So these are the 10 things I wish I would have known before starting a creative journey. Number one, how hard it would be after so many years to come up with an original idea. When I started this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have so many ideas, I wanna do everything. I wanted to do scrapbooking and cards and then eventually mixed media, art journaling, altered art. Like I did everything, canvas and on, on tins and things. Like I did everything. I mean, that's what a creator does, experiments. And stuff. But it's like after so many years, I feel like I'm repeating myself and I'm doing the things over and over and over and again. And in the other video, I said that I wish I would have known that it's okay not to have an original idea and to just copy others if, by giving them credit obviously but like just being okay with that so in this in this video what i want to focus is on i wish i would have known that i won't have original ideas and it's okay that it's hard and that's what makes us create even better and the funny thing is that this past year i actually felt like i came up with even though i created very very little bit in 2019 there was one time that something came out of nowhere and I felt like it was an original idea and I was really happy about it. The second thing that I wish I would have known before starting my creative journey is how much competition and rivalry there's going to be between people. I am a competitive person in nature. I love winning games and things like that, but I never like winning by putting somebody else down. It brings me a lot of stress to do that. So I never like to do that. And if I ever do that, it's usually not intentionally because I then I don't know that I'm doing it. So, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are like that, but there's been times where I've encountered people who really thrive on that competition of trying to push themselves to be better than others and then either talking behind somebody's back or just being rude in front of everyone and just that has really like affected me over the years and i know that comes with the territory i know in every job in every space there is competition between different people like whether they are creators whether it is an accountant whether there are there is like at school people just want to be better than others it makes them feel good but it doesn't it doesn't make me feel good i want to cooperate with everyone and I just feel like that rivalry is just not healthy and it's not worth it like we see so much hatred in the world and that I find is just not not something that I want to be a part of so I wish I would have known that because if I would have known whom but I guess that that's not even like helps because every person connects with somebody else but if I would have known that that was going to happen, I would have been a bit more careful. Maybe that's what it is. So that's my advice to just be careful who you think some people are deceptive and they don't really mean what they say, if that's the case. And that has happened to me, unfortunately. So just to a warning to, you know, I mean, 
if we would just want to create, that's great. But if you want to be doing this and in, in, in being on a YouTube channel and Instagram and blogs and stuff like that, just know that there's haters out there. The so third that's... thing I wish I would have known about starting a creative journey is how hard and how many hours I would have to put in for so little pay. All of us as artists want to be successful and success is relative and what we define as success. But most of us, I think, out there, besides doing it and, or starting as a hobby, most of us that started the YouTube channels and the different things, or if we started it as just as a fun thing. But then we realized that we could at least monetize or make some money out of it to be able to pay for the products that we, may, that we buy, to be able to, you know, like have a little bit of extra cash. It's not like we're making millions of dollars, not even like hundreds of dollars, not even that. So... I think what I realized is that I wish I would have known how hard it is. It might, it might have made me think twice about it because the amount of hours that we put, like when you go to a regular job, you're working nine to five, you know how much you're getting paid and that's your salary. But in this case, you don't know. Sometimes, some months you're okay and some months you're not and you don't know how much and you're doing the same job all the time you're doing three videos a week or two videos a week and that's like almost 15 hours per video between filming and everything and then uploading them to youtube and uploading it to instagram and doing facebook and so it takes hours and hours on end and then at the end of the month you have like oh 200 dollars, yay like who wants to work it's like two for 200 dollars doing so many hours of work nobody wants to so if I would have known that, I would have maybe thought of it in advance. So that's a point that I want to advise you to think about it twice because you know what? Nobody's making millions. Very few people are making hundreds, but not many people are doing millions. Number four is that I wish I would have known how much rejection and how to handle rejection. That was really hard for me, especially at the beginning. So although... I persevered and I continued and every time I got rejected from a design team or from something that I wanted to do or that I thought somebody would say something not nice about my work, it drove me further. So rejection is a double-edged sword because in one side, yes, you're getting rejected for something that you you think you're you like or you love or you know what you're doing or you or you think you're good at. And then they're saying sorry you're not and there's so many reasons as why you might get rejected from a design team and that could be a whole different video which i think i've done before so i don't know i could look at my channel i think i've done a video why why you people why the companies reject certain people from design teams and the reasons are actually very valid but when you're on the other side and you feel like you've been rejected it's horrible so when you start a creative journey persevere that's my advice like if I would have known that it would be okay that I would make it to so many amazing design teams I would have not worried about being rejected so many times and just continue trying which I did but I mean I would it would have lessened my anxiety the fifth thing that I wish I would have known is how hard it is to get followers and subscribers oh my gosh I wish I would have known that because I saw people so I saw some people rising so fast but I never noticed the ones that didn't rise as fast. And I thought to myself, if I would have known that, maybe I would have maybe done a little bit more investigating about how to do it. And don't get me wrong, I'm very grateful. I'm doing well right now. I feel like I'm doing well. But when I started, like to get every follower and every person to come and subscribe or to view your videos or follow you on Instagram, even now on Instagram, I don't feel like I have a lot of followers. So I wish I had more, but I'm just not sure how to do that and yeah, i should maybe look and every time i look at a video on how to do the people just want to sell you stuff instead of just teach you like i do a lot of free videos but people always want to you know charge you for it and i don't know once they charge you if it's going to be a good video so i wish i would have known that so i would have been able to figure out how to do it myself and i guess i could still do that but that's something that you should really invest in is knowing how to get followers and subscribers because it's so so important especially those that view your videos and follow you on Instagram. So like I did with the other video, and I just said like all the kind of, not negative things, but things that I wish I would have known that would have helped me, um, but that were hard on me. 
at the same time, I wanted to say spin it off and do the five positive ones, which is what I did in the other video as well. So what I wish I would have known before starting a creative journey has that negative aspect and that positive aspect too. So for number six, it's going to be a positive one. And I always like putting the positive ones at the end to end on a positive note. And that is, I wish I would have known I was going to meet so many amazing people. When I started my journey, I knew like nobody, two people, then they were not even online. I started basically with a blog. I just threw myself out there. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know what to do. When I met like for the first time, Gabby Polaco, which was, she's like an amazing like designer, one of the original ones. I was like in awe and then meeting Finnabar and uh, Sharon and so many people from Prima and then just exploded all over the world and now I have friends basically I think in every country if I would have if I would have known that I would have started it sooner like that is just amazing like I just love the fact that I have so many people that I know all over the world that I love and support so I mean you know what there's a positive thing with it too if you want to start a channel or you want to start your creative journey online so in social media just know you're going to meet lots of amazing people so that's one thing I wish I would have known. Number seven is that it's the, it's the opposite of what I said uh, before about how hard it would be to get followers. I mean, I wish I would have known I would have so many followers and so many people that I would inspire and would inspire me. So those friends and the, even my own followers inspire me and give me ideas sometimes. So the followers, the subscribers, the ones that review my videos. I wish I would have known that. I mean, if I would have known in advance that I will have uh, almost 30,000 followers on YouTube. Oh my gosh. Like I would have been like, oh, okay. I don't have to worry about it. It's okay. I feel 30,000 is great. I mean, of course I want 100,000, but one day, maybe, maybe if you guys support me enough, you know, all these, you guys are amazing, like inspire. And I, and I get to sometimes inspire you. I mean, not this past year, but in general. So I'm really, really happy about that. So thank you so much again. The eighth thing that I wish I would have known is how much I would love mixed media. And this goes back to experimenting things. Once you find your niche of what you love, whether it's scrapbooking, card making, mixed media, art journaling, sculpting, quilting, whatever it is. I mean, this is not only about, this is not only about, um, about specific fine arts. Once you know what you love, I mean, it's so easy to go back and say, oh, I wish I would have known that I would love this the most because I ended up experimenting. So my suggestion is experiment, experiment, experiment. Try out a million things and then find the one that you love the most, which I did. And I'm very happy about that. The ninth thing I wish I would have known is that I would be teaching in so many places, both locally and internationally. So when I started, I never thought I would be a teacher. I mean, funny enough, many years ago, I applied for teachers college to teach at a high school, elementary school, and I didn't get in. I tried twice and didn't get in. But I always knew I was supposed to be a teacher. I don't know why. I guess like the way I speak, I speak like a teacher. People tell me this all the time. They always ask me, oh, do you have a teaching degree? And I'm like, no, I don't. But I just knew how to speak to people to make them understand and to explain things. So I wish I would have known I would be doing this because then I would have not been so upset when I didn't get into teacher's college. I would have not been upset when after a few years, I really wanted to teach in some places, but people didn't still know me and accepted me for what I was doing. So if I would have known that in advance, I would have not felt so sad when I got again rejected or when I didn't fit in or when they didn't ask me to come teach at certain places. If I would have known that I would have actually just gone with the flow and I knew that eventually it would happen. And the last thing, the 10th thing that I wish I would have known before starting my creative journey is that I wish I would have known how much I would love it. I was so skeptical at the beginning to even start it because I just thought to myself, nobody's going to like what I'm creating. I'm not that great. And I doubted myself a lot. And if I would have known that I will love this so much, no matter what other people thought about it, 
I would have just not doubted myself so much and I would have just continued and as I said gone with the flow so if you don't believe in yourself or do believe in yourself whichever way you're whichever part of the coin you stand on it's really important to know that if you love creating or that you think you will love creating then just throw yourself out there and do it that's my advice that's what I actually did even though I doubted myself and it paid off so those are the 10 things that I wanted to share with you today I really appreciate, as I said, you guys following me and coming and watching my videos. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye.